Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fish Keeping. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at seven of the best snail eating fish. So obviously pest snails like bladder snails, Malaysian trumpet snails, and ramshorn snails can be super annoying. So for today's video, I've picked out seven species that are quite happy to eat your pest aquarium snails. But without any further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video with the first fish on our list. So as for the first fish on our list today, we have a super unique looking fish. We have the Cooley Loach. So pretty much all loaches in general do like eating snails, but what I like about the Cooley Loaches is that they will go around and pick off small snails throughout your aquarium, but if you have larger snails, you can actually crush them up and they will sink down to the bottom and your coolie loaches will eat those as well. So as for the water parameters for your coolie loaches, you're gonna want a pH of around 5.5 to 6.5 and a temperature anywhere between 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. So as for diet, obviously these guys are a bottom dwelling fish. So you're gonna wanna feed them sinking foods. So things like sinking pellets or wafers are a great staple in their diet, but you can also mix it up with things like frozen foods and and live black worms or any other live foods that sink to the bottom of your aquarium. And then as for tank setting for these guys, they are very shy, so you're gonna wanna provide them with lots of hiding spots. So when you first get your coolie loaches, you may notice that they don't really come out at all, but if you are around your tank at nighttime, you will see them as they are a little bit more of a nocturnal fish. And then as for tank mates for these guys, you're gonna wanna keep them with really peaceful fish. So things like tetras, rasboras, corridoras catfish, all sorts of live berries and bristlenose. Obviously, if there's any other small peaceful fish, they can probably go with those as well. They are very peaceful and they're not gonna nip at any fish or anything like that. So there's nothing to be worried about there. But yeah, the coolie loach is definitely a great snail eating fish and I would recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have a super cool little fish. We have the pea puffer. So I actually used to have a few pea puffers back in the day, and they were actually super expensive here in Australia when I first got them. Now the price has dropped a lot and they are more frequent in local fish stores and things like that. So as for your water parameters for your pea puffers, you're gonna want a pH of around 6.8 to 7.8, and you're also gonna want a temperature between 23 to 28 degrees Celsius. As for diet, these guys really love black worms. So I would highly recommend making black worms one of their staples in their diet. In my experience, I found that they don't really eat dry food. So I generally fed them live black worms, baby brine shrimp and frozen foods. As for tank setting, these guys love a planted aquarium. So they aren't too shy, but they do like to hide away every now and then when they do feel stressed. So providing them with plenty of plants is optimal. And then as for tank mates, these guys are very peaceful. So you can keep them with things like rasboras, tetras, and corridoras catfish. These guys will only really eat your snails when they're at a young age and they won't really go for older snails. So like the coolie loaches, you can crush up snails and they will definitely eat those. But with that said, the pea puffer is another great snail eating fish and I would highly recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have a super cool little loach. We have the dwarf chain loach. So dwarf chain loaches are one of the most popular snail eating fish out there. Generally people buy them just to keep their tanks free of snails. And obviously they do a great job at that. So as for your water parameters for these guys, you're gonna want a pH between 6.5 to 7.5 and a temperature of around 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. As for diet, these guys are once again a bottom dwelling fish. So you're gonna wanna feed them sinking foods. So much like the coolie loaches, things like sinking pellets, live black worms and frozen foods are great staples in their diet. And then as for tank mates, these guys are very small and quite peaceful. So things like tetras, rasboras, corridoras catfish, and bristlenose all make great tank mates. But yeah, the dwarf chain loach is another great snail eating fish that you can get for your aquarium. We actually have a group of fish and that's freshwater sharks. So obviously you can get things like red tail sharks, black sharks, and silver sharks. So all of them will eat snails and they do actually a very good job at it. 
So the one thing to remember with the sharks is that they do get quite large and if you have a small aquarium, they definitely will not thrive in it. As for the water parameters for your sharks, it does depend on what species you get, but for the most part, you're gonna want a pH of around 6.5 to 7.5 and a temperature anywhere between 22 to 26 degrees Celsius. And then as for diet, these guys once again are a bottom dwelling fish. So live black worms, frozen foods and sinking pellets all make great additions into their diet. As for tank setting, like I said before, you're gonna want a large aquarium with good filtration just because these guys do produce quite a lot of waste. And another great thing to throw in there is some sort of wood or rocks or somewhere large enough that they can hide in. They won't necessarily eat the wood, but they will definitely use it as a hiding spot and it's a great thing to add in there. And then as for tank mates, you don't want to keep them with any small fish. So things like barbs, large tetras and bristle nose are three great tank mates you can keep them with. With that said though, sharks are another great snail eating fish and I would highly recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have a super colorful species of fish. We have African cichlids. So when you're talking about African cichlids, there's two main species. There's Lake Malawi, which are your things like peacock cichlids. And then there's Lake Tanganyikan cichlids, like your Trophius. Obviously there's a bunch of other species, but those are probably the most common. So not only are African cichlids super colorful and super eye-catching, but they also pretty much kill any smaller thing you chuck in the same tank as them. So snails are no exception. They will absolutely eat any sort of snail. As for water parameters for your African cichlids, they do like really high pH and relatively hard water. So a pH of around eight to nine is best. And you're gonna want a temperature anywhere between 23 to 28 degrees Celsius. As for diet, you can get all sorts of African cichlid specific diets. As long as you mix their diet up with some sort of dry food, live food, and frozen food every now and then. As for tank setting, you're gonna wanna keep these guys on a sand bottom. So most African cichlids will actually move the sand with their mouth and you don't wanna keep them with gravel or anything like that just because it can cut up their mouth. So as for tank mates, these guys are super aggressive. So there's not too many things you can keep them with, but two fish in particular that go great with African cichlids are larger sized plecos like gold spot or sailfin plecos and Cynodontus catfish. Both of those make great tank mates and they're just about the only tank mates you can keep African cichlids with. But with that said, African cichlids are one of the best snail eating fish and I would highly recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have a super cool little catfish. We have Corydoras catfish. So Corydoras catfish are obviously a super peaceful, small, awesome little aquarium fish. So these guys won't really eat your live snails, but once again, if you do collect up some snails and crush them up, those will sink down to the bottom of your aquarium and your Corydoras catfish will definitely eat them. As for water parameters for these guys, you're gonna want a pH of around 6.5 to 7.5 and a temperature anywhere between 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. And then as for diet, these guys will love any sort of sinking live foods. So obviously black worms are one of the greatest sinking live foods you can feed them, but they will also eat things like algae wafers and other sinking wafers along with all sorts of frozen foods. As for tank setting, you wanna give these guys quite a bit of swim space around the bottom of your aquarium. And you also don't wanna keep them on really sharp gravel. So there's a lot of mixed opinions about this. Some say you should keep your Corydoras catfish on only sand or only bare bottom, but some say it doesn't matter. And the reason for that obviously is because they can cut up their barbels on sharper coarse gravel. I personally don't really know if there's a difference, but I do like to keep mine on soft substrates just because I don't want to take any risks whatsoever. And then as for tank mates for these guys, they are some of the most versatile fish. So you can keep them with a wide variety of other peaceful fish. Some great ones include tetras, rasboras, live bearers, bristlenose, and even barbs. But with that said, Corydoras catfish are definitely a great snail eating fish and I would highly recommend them. Moving on to the next fish on our list, we have another group of fish. We have large tetras. So when I say large tetras, I mean things like Congo tetras and other big body tetras like that. So as for water parameters, obviously it does depend, but generally larger size tetras like a pH of around 6.5 to 7.5 and a temperature anywhere between 24 to 28 degrees Celsius. So as for food for these guys, you can feed them all sorts of flake foods, pelleted diets, live foods, and frozen foods. 
And then as for tank setting, depending on what species you get, you can throw on some live aquarium plants, preferably big leaf plants like java fern or swords. And another great thing to keep in mind is you're gonna to wanna to provide them with plenty of swim space. So tetras are an open water swimmer and you do wanna keep them in relatively large schools with a lot of space for them to swim in. And then as for tank mates, large tetras can go with all sorts of barbs, kouroos catfish, live berries, and bristlenose. So once again, these guys won't go around and actively eat your snails, but if you do crush up either your snails or your snails eggs, they will 100% eat them. Large tetras are another great group of fish that you can add into your aquarium to help keep down the snails. However, that is gonna bring us to the end of today's video. So I hope you all enjoyed and I hope I helped you guys find a brand new fish to help you cut back your snail population. If you did enjoy today's video and you haven't done so already, please make sure to go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, make sure to smash the like button and comment your thoughts on today's video. I always go down there and read them all and I try to reply back to as many as I can. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in that next video.